Um, dois e um, dois, três. Estoy aquí means I'm here. Have I had to say that yet? No, because everyone's spoken to me in English, <laughs> even when I tried to speak Spanish. But anyway, I'm gonna keep trying. I just got here. Um, I'm a little, little, you know, I just got off a plane ride. I got to my hotel. My suitcase broke. So I think I actually might need to go buy another suitcase because I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna. Anyway, I'm here at uh, Habita Hotel in Polanco, which is a really nice area. And I'm staying here because of a friend, a friend of mine who's meeting me here on Saturday is also staying here, that's why I'm staying here. But I need to go explore. And then I have a taco tour <laughs> at three o'clock. I was a little nervous that I would just kind of be like, eh, what do I do? Like kind of to get my bearings. So I'm going right into a taco tour. Okay, much better. Put a little makeup, um, <clears throat> put on some lipstick and change clothes so now i'm wearing this i love this dress um i just got it i've been looking for a denim dress all over the place i wish i had pockets but other than that i love the feel of it um it's just perfect i love the sleeve length it fits really well i can do this number and yes yeah, so i'm really excited to wear this and it's supposed to rain right now i'm not sure if i should bring my raincoat or not do i want to carry it around but then if it does rain i will be stuck in the rain so um i need to i need to go okay So taco tour definitely recommend because we went to three taco places two of them I would have felt very intimidated to go into because I would have not known how to order and my Spanish is you know I can say things but when I, people speak back to me in Spanish I'm like Ugh, what <laughs> so um, yeah that was I feel like a necessity if you want to go have tacos in Mexico City at the local places. That was a really cool experience. My guide was great. He gave me kind of a little history lesson along the way. We walked around like the old center, I think it's the uh, Zocalo, Zocalo, I'm probably saying that wrong. Um, so yeah, that was really great. I'm really glad I did that. That kind of helped me get my bearings and kind of get my feet wet in Mexico City. I feel like I learned some things too. It's very interesting. Now, I am so tired. I've been up a very long time. I've eaten lots of tacos and um, I have to get up super early tomorrow because um, I am being picked up at 6.40 a.m. to go see the pyramids. But here's the fun thing about traveling all by yourself, okay? I want to just enjoy this rain that they're having right now and lay in my bed and read my book after a really good day. Um, so I'm going to do that. I don't have to like, you know, muster up the energy to like go out or something when I don't want to just kind of get to do what I want to do and just like just like chill Ready. Um, so of all the clothes I packed, I didn't really think about layering, which was very important. I should have done that. And it's 57 degrees right now. It's going to warm up, but like it's 57. I, I'm just, I'm so conflicted about what to wear. And people are out there in like parkas. <laughs> um, so I'm wearing the only jeans I brought. I'm wearing the only like 
solid button up I brought. I brought another, another white button up, but it's like my gauzy one, like kind of my summery one. So it's gonna be kind of warm. I think it'll get hot later, but I can just come back and change. <laughs> Cause I mean, I brought a lot of clothes. I need to just change when I get back. So this is what I'm wearing. Hopefully I won't be too hot or too cold. Everything will be just right. I need to go because the guy's picking me up now. So I just got back from um, the pyramids. That was really fun. I'm glad I did that. It was a nice little tour. I had a great tour guide. I found this one also through Airbnb. I don't know why I wore sandals. Well, I do know why, but it wasn't, I mean, they were actually fine, but like there were so many pebbles and things. I kept getting pebbles in my shoe. So tennis shoes <laughs> would have been much more practical, but turns out my outfit was perfect because it, it was still like that. It's just nice here. The weather is so nice. So now I'm really tired. Um, and cause we did walk around for three hours and I'm going to attempt a little nap and then I'm going to go get something to eat. Cause I'm also starving. So, okay. Much better had a teeny weeny nap. I slept for like maybe five minutes, but it was all I needed. Um, new outfit, I will show you. And now I'm starving. My plan is to find a really like outdoor, outdoorsy restaurant in Polanco to sit at and then eat. I do need some coffee. Just kind of walk around this neighborhood because I really haven't had a chance to walk around Polanco yet. It's very ritzy and upscale. And then later I have I don't even really know what it is, but um, it sounded interesting. So I'll tell you about that in a minute. I now have a very good feel of Polanco. My friend had described it as like the Upper East Side of Mexico City, and that is a very good description. Like I very much felt like, it very much felt like Fifth Avenue in a lot of places, and like very ritzy, open air restaurants, um, very well-dressed people. Like I was hesitant to wear like my gold watch here, and I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm wearing gold jewelry, and I brought an, a, another ring for my wedding ring. Um, I've learned that it's okay in Mexico and honestly I could have been dripping in jewels and n no one would have paid any mind in this area. Now my other friends, um, they wanted me to stay in Condesa Roma area which is they said more like the Brooklyn Soho area. So I'm going to go there next because <laughs> I wanted to book things, okay? I wanted to have experiences that I would not be able to get in my hometown, right? And so I found an experience where you could, I don't, I don't know exactly, a shaman is going to be there. Maybe he puts a blessing out, something like that. And um, you go, go into a sauna, it's really hot and you drink tea. I really don't know what I'm about to get myself into. I apparently am gonna sweat a lot. They said to wear a bathing suit. <laughs> Oh, this should be interesting, but I wanted to, I wanted something different. I wanted a different experience. I didn't want to just do the traditional tourist things. I found this on Airbnb as well. So we shall see. Okay. So I'm uh, ready or not. I'm going, I'm ready for the Tazmacal. Ah, every time I don't, I don't read it. I can't remember what it's, remember the name, how it's pronounced. But anyway, I have my linen blend two piece set on that I have worn several times before. It's become like my go-to little set and my bathing suit <laughs> um, and change of clothes and towel, all the things I need to bring. Okay, I am ready for the morning. So I didn't film anything last night because I was just kind of like in my space, but I did this can I please say the right word? Tezmecal? Tezmecal? Tezmez, Tezmezcal. Anyway, I'm gonna put it on the screen. Um, it was amazing. So it was basically, if you don't, 
if you don't know anything about this and you've not really traveled a lot before, it may seem really weird. Anyway, what we did is we went to this um, farm community. They grow like vegetables and things and um, I'm not sure what all I do there. It was really cool. Anyway, I'll show you pictures. This uh, shaman, he talked about his history, his ancestry, and how you know how, how he kind of came to be in this space. We then went into um, a very dark room, and it you, they put hot coals in there, so it gets really, really, really hot. And the goal is to kind of just like get in that uncomfortable state where you kind of release some things. So um, he talked to, you know, he kind of came in there with us and he talked about, you know, showing appreciation to your family and your mother and your father and your ancestors and, um, and really trying to be who you are and kind of letting go of fears. I'm gonna start crying, I guess, but, um, um, and really owning your journey. It was really uplifting and um, it's hard for me to describe in a few words. It's kind of one of those things like, it's something that you really just have to experience. I don't know if everyone would want to do this. I've done something similar to this where you just kind of try to let go of like all the stress and anxiety you've been holding on to. And there's a lot of ways to do that. This is kind of one of them. Um, but you basically, I mean, you're just, you get really uncomfortable. The main theme of the whole session was just to really get in touch with yourself and to feel okay being yourself. I mean, that is, I feel like should be a goal of everybody's, but it's really hard to sometimes because we fear judgment and we fear what people are going to think and what people are going to say and the criticism and the judgment, like all the things. And so it gets to be where we don't really feel like we want to be ourselves because we don't want to experience all that. I definitely feel like that, you know, a lot, especially with YouTube. I mean, um, <laughs> even just saying this out loud on here, I mean, you know, it's just open myself, opening myself up to um, people's ideas that they have and they can put it on, you know, things and what, what I'm doing. Anyway, that was amazing. And now on to today. So today what we have on the agenda, my um, one of my best friends from college is flying in this morning with his boyfriend. They should have been here by now, but they're flying from Miami and um, they got diverted to Merida or Merida because um, there's volcanic ash all over Mexico City right now. Apparently it's in the news and everything. Um, I was expecting to meet up with them right now to eat breakfast, but since they're not here, I think I'm gonna go over to the Roma area where I have had now three people tell me about this pastry place called Rosetta. So that is what I'm going to do right now, I think, um, and get a coffee. I haven't had a coffee this morning and I need one. I don't need one, but I want one, okay? It's not a need, it's a want, and I'm okay with that. They wanna do dinner and drinks and then wanna go to some high energy club um, <laughs> at like 11 or 12. I'm like, I don't know if I'll be able to join for that. Um, Y'all have fun, but I might be in bed, but we'll see, we will see. Let's go to Rosetta see if these pastries are any good. Still waiting on that volcano to be at a normal I mean I don't know stop er erupting <laughs> they're stuck in Merida or Merida however you say it and um, I'm not sure what to do with, to do with myself because I didn't plan on having to plan anything today but it's so pretty outside I need to go to the archaeology museum but it's just so pretty I don't want to be indoors so I'm just walking around Roma and there's a vintage store that opens up at 11, it's only 10. Spend the hour just hanging out by that fountain, it was so nice. I'm actually headed 
It's like a mezcal tasting. I don't know if they're open right now. Nobody drinks <laughs> mezcal this early. It was a tasting, so I thought you know, it'd be okay, but they didn't have any reservations within two and a half hours. Okay, well, since I have time and it's still early, I'm being very picky about which coffee shop I go to. Just went to one and it was like, you know, it's okay. Didn't feel the vibe. So now there's one called Junkie Cafe. It says it has a cool vibe and great coffee. So we're gonna mosey on up there. And by we, I mean me. And I'm by myself, because my friends are still stuck in Merida. Merida? But um, they said they just heard cheers. And I think some fl <laughs> flights are taking off. <laughs> I hope they get here safely. I go in. <laughs> okay, they were like, we're full, you have not don't have a reservation, you can come tomorrow if you want to make a reservation, which I don't know. I doubt it. friends they're finally gonna get to fly and it looks like they're gonna land around two a far cry from 9 30 as he said but at least they'll be here and they'll be safe here safely so now I'm gonna go find this vintage store that I read about I know it's not a map and, um, and then I'm gonna try another place <laughs> for a foot massage <laughs> see if they can take me so that's my plan now the one I was looking for but I found two <clears throat> tops I really liked kind of random and now I'm going to I think there's another vintage store up here I'm gonna go and then work my way over to this massage place which may or may not be able to give me a foot massage it's okay either way <music> I think it was vintage. I guess some of it were, maybe the jeans, but no. I was in there for 30 seconds. It was not for me. And I'm gonna go try to find a spa to get a reflexology massage. <laughs> not sure if that'll happen, but I might see some other things along the way. And then um, my phone, my battery is dying, so I need to go back to my hotel. Also, I might do another wardrobe change because I've been in this for a long time. So I'm, <laughs> I've got to take a left on Chihuahua Street. Yeah, that's kind of funny. Chihuahua Street. Well, I just got a 40 minute foot massage for $22. That was amazing. Glad I found that. Glad they could take me. <laughs> um, so, I was going to try to walk home, but I think that might be like really far. So, I'm going to maybe get another coffee because why not and then hopefully my friends will be here okay so I'm back after a long day I just not a long day but like I mean, I've been walking around <laughs> the Condesa Roma, well, maybe it's just the Roma area for ever since um, about 8.30 this morning, and it's now th almost four. So that was really fun though. Such a nice area. I kind of, like Polanco is, 
a little intimidating because it's just like very, I feel like very ritzy kind of upscale and I'm like, am I dressed okay? Um, and that Roma Condesa area is more chill, just lots of coffee shops, lots, like a really nice vibe. And I really liked that area a lot. So next time I come, I probably will stay there. Okay, first thing that has really surprised me is I thought I was going to hear a lot of Hispanic music, <laughs> like salsa music and some merengue music, like up and down the street. Um, but I've only heard it one time. And that was when I did my taco tour and it was a guy singing it in the taco place. And it was definitely a place where like, it was, I mean, there was all Mexicans in there. There were no gringos like myself, um, but it was really good. And I was like, oh, okay, this is nice. But everywhere else has been disco. I've heard lots of disco, several places. And um, even just when I was walking around, there was some more live music and he was singing Nirvana. And then the second thing that has surprised me is um, how safe it is here. Like, I felt more safe here than I have certain times in New York City and in Miami, like South Beach. And I am staying in really nice areas and I'm keeping to like the areas that are known to be pretty safe. It just doesn't seem like what you hear about on the news. So now my friends should be getting here any minute now. So while I was walking around, um, in addition to my vintage purchases, I also bought this pretty little necklace. Just was really drawn to it and I really liked it. So I wear this color a lot. It was another stone, but um, I just kind of really liked this one. And then I also bought this little ring. I really liked it too. It has like, um, you know, gold, silver, and rose gold on it. And I don't really have any silver rings, so I kind of like that. So I'm gonna take this one off. And I did this one on, ooh. So, I'm gonna try that, a little Mexican purchase. Um, and then, my husband asked me to bring him back some mezcal, and I haven't even had any yet. I have not had any alcohol since I've been here so far. And, but I got to this. I don't even know if it's good, I hope it is, but the shop was really cute. It was not cheap. So I'm assuming, I'm assuming it's okay. I don't think he would know the difference anyway. <laughs> I'm going out ish um, my friends <laughs> they got here so late and I had some coffee so I feel like I can do it um, so we are going to go to a bar maybe is that what we're doing I'm not sure what we're doing anyway I'm gonna last as long as I can it's only like eight o'clock right now I'm already kind of tired but I'm gonna last as long as I can and then I'm just gonna go home whenever I need to whenever I'm feeling tired. So that's my plan. But I did get dressed up. I will show you what I'm wearing. Oh no, my friend's talking about getting a table at a club somewhere. <laughs> I haven't done that since my 20s. Um, I don't know if I'm going to make that. I don't know. I just don't know. We will see tonight with this. It doesn't quite match, but it goes. I'm kind of feeling it. And we still I so to the end still of the same ones. Big up. You already know. On the yeah, it's a trinity. You don't know. Yeah, we still the same ones. Okay, so last night. Hang on. I think I. It was more like. Last night and this morning. I think I need to take a shower and get some coffee. And then I'll and then I'll talk about it. Okay, last night I just went ahead and got dressed because um it's kind of late already. <laughs> I need to get my day started. It's my last day in Mexico City. So um we were gonna go out with um Adam has a friend that lives in Mexico City, his name is Jorge. And he and his boyfriend came over to meet us at our hotel. We we're gonna go to like a club or a bar or something and then I'm like you know I'll just come home at 11 or 12 so we just follow Jorge they drive us and there's this like looks like abandoned building that is under construction 
Uh, I mean, like cracks, there's like sidewalk missing. I mean, it looks like they were literally in the process of demolishing it or something. So <laughs> we go in there and then we see like some guys in suits and, um, and then a velvet rope kind of thing. And so it's a club. So we go in there and I remember reading that there are a lot of like speakeasies in, in Mexico City and I kind of forgot about that. But this was kind of, I think that kind of similar feel. <clears throat> we, we got a table with a bottle, which in like New York or Miami would be insanely expensive, but here it really wasn't. So we had a bottle, table, seats, everything. The music wasn't too loud, but it was really good. I mean, it was perfect for me. Um, I didn't feel old. Everyone in there was like around our age, you know, somewhere in there. It wasn't like we were in there with a bunch of really young people or anything like that. And it was like just great music. We were just having a really good time. Um, you know, there was five of us and, you know, we were dancing and it kind of felt like everyone in the room was dancing, but really it was just us. <laughs> it was just us Americans. <laughs> well, I guess not Americans, uh, three Americans and two um, Mexicans. Around 11.30 or 12, we're like, okay, we'll just, you know, leave at midnight. And so Adam and I, you know, Adam's like, we're, you know, in our 20s, we would have stayed out till 5 a.m. And we're so responsible. Now we know better and we're going to go home at 12. So we pack up all our staff and um, Jorge, Adam's friend, he runs or he manages a drag show. So we're leaving and we're like, where's your drag show? He's like, oh, what's well, happening right now? He's like, it's just right down the street. Do you guys want to go? And I'm like, you know, we'll just go to the drag show for like a few minutes and see what it's all about. So we go to the drag show and I'm so, you know, I'm glad we started at the place where we started. I believe it was called Dixon, but the drag show was on another level. And I'm like, I've been to drag shows before. They're, you know, and they're always lots of fun and crazy and wild, but like a Mexican drag show. The whole crowd was like very much like our kind of generation and they were just having so much fun and like dancing like crazy and going like wild and crazy and like these people are like good dancers like I know they're just like regular people like you and me but I mean it I like they were you know of course slinging each other around and stuff in the crowd and they were like excellent dancers like I don't I mean I just, if I could bottle the energy that people had in that room and like drink it for breakfast every morning, that would be amazing. So the drag show was really, really fun. And just the people there were so energetic, just like so good. And I, you know, I don't feel like I'm like a terrible dancer or anything like that. I'm like, I'm doing my little thing over there. But like these people are just like, you know, just like really feeling themselves. Over there like, you know, enjoying the scene. I don't even think I took much video of it because I was just really like enjoying it. But um, yeah, it was just really fun. Then we're like, okay, time to go home. It was at like 2 a.m. at this point. Um, and then as we're leaving, we decided to leave and Jason, Adam's boyfriend, is like, we can go to like one more place. Like, is there like an after party place? Like, where's that? Let's just like try one more place. And Jorge's boyfriend was just like, he's like in his 20s, youngest of all of us, obviously, and um, was like, I just want to go home, but hey, you guys are visiting. We'll do what you guys want to do. Um, <laughs> and so, we're, so Jason was like, you know, do you guys want to go? Like, Anna, do you want to go? And I'm like, I'm up for whatever. Like, I could go to one more place, just like for one drink, you know? So Jorge is part of a group that owns a nightclub in, um, and it is, is a younger crowd. Let's just go there. We know it, It'll, it's right there, we can get in, like no biggie. So we go there, that place was wild. Um, the, and, but you know, since he is part of that place, we got to go behind the DJ booth, kind of had a little space there, not really out with the crowd. Um, I had to go to the bathroom. He got me to get an escort <laughs> to go to the bathroom to like work my way through the crowd. I liked that part. Um, I, liked being, I liked being treated like a princess, it, that was nice. And so that was really fun too. And we danced like crazy. It was just really fun, really, really fun atmosphere, really fun music, had a little bit of champagne, but mainly just danced like crazy, kind of a little messy, but it was fabulous. It was just fabulous. It was really, really fun. And so that was our last place. So after that, it was like 3.30 in the morning and somebody suggested tacos. <laughs> and I said, no, I think I actually need to go home. Like, I don't need any tacos right now. I need to just go home. So they're like, okay, let's just call it a night. <laughs> so we came back here 
drink some electrolytes to make sure we were hydrated for the next day. And that was the end of the night at 4 a.m. Now this is not something I do like ever. I mean, I mean, I really haven't had a night like that in years. And I surprisingly feel okay now. Now that I've showered <laughs> and <clears throat> put my clothes on, which by the way, this is what I'm wearing today. It's actually kind of hot already. And this is a linen dress. Um, this was like my splurge for Mexico City. So um, I love this color. I think I'm actually going to, depending on where we go for brunch, which I don't know, but I think I might bring my little Bottega bag. I brought it just in case. And I would traditionally like this dress with the nude shoes, but my flats, I just, I've never walked a ton in them. So I don't know how they will do. So anyway, I'm just, I'm just not sure about the footwear right now. So that was my wild night. And this is my last day in Mexico City. All right, these ladies, I don't, they're like, don't have it together yet, but I'm gonna go make them get dressed so we can go. Hello? Hello? Hola? Uh, is that you, Anna? Ooh, who is Anna? Hold on. lunch it was really good it's a place called botanica very beautiful place and nice scenery we stayed there for a really long time now my friends had to go to the airport i'm a little sad and it's supposed to rain <laughs> um thinking i might go to the pool deck upstairs and read my book because it's supposed to like rain really hard in a few minutes I'm really tired now like i've got it i've gotten really sleepy so i might need some coffee but i'm okay with that <laughs> Well, it is nighttime now. I actually had a really good time reading my book in their lounge and um, it was just been pouring down raining and I feel like I've done a lot. And so yeah, I actually had a really good evening and um, I tried some Mexican wine finally. It was really tasty. So tomorrow I'm gonna try to get one last coffee run and then just head to the airport and go home. But I will say um, I like this hotel, the Habita Hotel. I don't have much to compare it to down here, but I really like staying here and it was just, I don't know, I loved the, all the amenities, like the pool up there and like the place downstairs and breakfast in the morning and that kind of thing. And that location is excellent, super duper safe, like very, very safe. Safe is an understatement. Um, and then the one thing I wish I would have brought is a light, really light jacket. I really didn't need it a lot because it just warmed up so fast and it was just so many times where it was like hot and then cold and hot and cold so I wouldn't have wanted to lug that around but like today it got chilly when it started raining and a light jacket would have been nice so that was my only other thing I really kind of wish I would have brought so anyway it was super fun I highly suggest anybody coming here even by yourself so I hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching <laughs>